So in this step, uh, we will do step four two, which is set up a WP stateless plugin to store its media on a GCS uh, bucket. So let's first uh, create a bucket for this purpose. So I'll go to a uh, cloud storage. And now we'll uh, click uh, to create a new bucket. And I'll call this uh, bucket uh, WP Cloud uh, uh, Run Media Bucket. Well, Media Storage. So I'll uh, click on Next. And again, I'm selecting my, uh, my own region, which is the your West uh, 4. And I'll click on continue. And again, I'm gonna select the auto, auto class because in this case, if there are images which haven't been accessed for a really long time, they're gonna be automatically moved to archive. So I don't need to do anything. So, uh, which is always good, right? So I'm gonna uh, click on next. And in this case, because it, you need uh, folks to access this publicly, I'll click on to allow public access but I will set to be fine uh, green access in this case. And uh, I'll show uh, how it's gonna work later on. And this is it, I'm just gonna uh, click uh, create. So once our uh, bucket has been created, what I'll now do is I'll go create a WP stateless uh, uh, a service account. That will have access to the bucket that I just uh, created because it was selected to uh, have a fine grain uh, access. And I will, uh, well, I will go to the service account. And I'll click on uh, create a service account and I'll call it WP State Less. Uh, create a continue and for now I'll just uh, click done um, that's all I want uh, with this account right now and now that we have it I'll go to our bucket that we created I'll go to permissions and in permissions I'll let it uh, load and here I'll uh, click on grant access so what we want is our uh, WP state uh, service account. Um, I need the full uh, name, which for some reason it's not filling out. Uh, either way, I'm uh, gonna select uh, what I want is I want a storage uh, storage admin, storage admin, and there now is giving the error I was trying, but we'll get to that in a second. Storage admin object admin and here now I might work so I'm gonna WP state less if this doesn't work I'll just go and uh, manually copy this uh, this whole thing usually it uh, fills it out there now it, uh, it's showing up and I'll click save so now that we have that, we can go, uh, we created the bucket, we gave it the necessary permissions, we can, uh, oh, one more thing, we can go and configure the stateless plugin. I just remembered one more thing that we will need to do, which is, if I go to this uh, service account, to create a key, uh, which, then how basically we will, uh, it will be used as part of the plugin. And um, since this project, I'll, I'll destroy the whole project. So I, I'm uh, now it prompt me to download the key, which I did. So let's go back to our uh, instance. So I'm gonna go to WP admin, admin, and our or I change me. And I'm gonna log in. And once I logged in. Uh, I'm going to go to plugins, install plugins, 
and I will go uh, to stateless. So I'm gonna activate it. And then we're gonna go to the setup. But the reason why I'm showing this is like whatever now we uploaded, whatever photo, whatever I did, uh, after the redeploy, the photos would not be there because this is a completely stateless uh, workload. Uh, you, you'll just have to trust me on this, but each time you do deploy, nothing is going to remain except now whatever is written to the to the SQL uh, database. Well, actually, I can also uh, click on those stateless settings. So what I want to uh, select here is I want it to be completely stateless. I'll uh, enable editor uh, and uh, meta and I'll use the well I can use the admin email or I can use my custom email whatever you want uh, here I'll just leave it as admin and email and in this case so what I need to fill out is the bucket that we created here so this is the name of our bucket and I'm gonna copy paste it and what I need to do now is basically I need to uh, copy paste uh, the contents of the service account key that I just uh, created. And I'll do that in a second. And I don't mind uh, sharing the contents because as I said, I'll, I'll kill this whole uh, project uh, one, as soon as it's done. And uh, rest uh, delete gcs file yeah once it's deleted uh, that it's deleted also from the wordpress uh the file url this is what the file url will look like uh, and uh, that's pretty much it so i'm gonna click uh, save and now if i go to a uh, post and uh, i'll even create a new uh, post uh, yeah, I'm just gonna click. Uh, uh, hello, hello from GCS. We're talking about setting up uh, WordPress, press on uh, on uh, Cloud Run. Yay! So uh, and uh, then I'll add uh, to uh, add a photo here. I'll just use uh, this one for example and uh that's it i'm gonna publish it yes publish and the post is live so if we go there yeah it's uh, it's live and this uh image if i now i clicked on uh, i clicked on uh, copy image this is where that uh image is uh, coming from so it's coming from uh, directly from our bucket and uh, now after i do deployment our uh posts are going to remain there and we're not just going to remove uh well lose everything basically so that uh, i believe concludes uh everything that i wanted to do as part of this step so let's move on to the next one